Hello everyone, content creator Muckluck here, and this is a guide video on how to set up a very easy and free to use avatar for yourself. You can use this for streams or YouTube videos. You can keep it turned on all the time, similar to how VTubers operate if you wish to do so, or you can just turn it on and off at specific moments for entertainment value if you wish to do that. You can also have more than one prepared and swap between them on the fly. I'll show you how to set this up, how to use it with streaming software, how to use it with a stream deck and how to let people redeem them if you are streaming on Twitch to add some fun for your community. There will be timestamps in the description down below if you wish to jump to something specific. Instructions on how to set this up. Go to the URL shown on screen now. It will be in the description down below to jump to the Vieto Tube website. There's lots of information here on the website if you need it or would like to read about it, but once you're ready, scroll down and download the file. After you have downloaded the file, unzip the file and place it somewhere you won't lose it. I put mine in a folder called Vieto Tube Mini on the C drive in the Programs Files folder just so I could find it easily in the future. Afterwards, open it up and run the Vieto Tube Mini application for the first time. When you open it for the very first time, it will have some default images in place that you can update with your own characters or avatars. At minimum, we're going to need two images for this. One for closed mouth and one for open mouth for the program to swap between when we are talking. Click on closed mouth and select the file that you want to use for it and the same for open mouth. You can use GIFs for this as well. The character I am currently showing you has a GIF of him bobbing his head for the closed mouth. I'm gonna crank up the sensitivity so he stops talking and you can see he's just kind of bobbing his head when he's still here. That's because my closed mouth image is a GIF, but the open mouth image has him just open his mouth. Now the reason he is shaking around is because of another feature that we're going to touch on in a moment. Next up is microphone sensitivity. You want to move the slider that's on this left bar until your character character seems to talk when you talk. If it is too high or too low, it is not going to look right. The right slider is mic delay sensitivity. In other words, it is how long will the program wait for the mouth to close after it has opened. I have mine set for the highest level for it to react faster, but again, you can easily play with this. Microphone device, clicking this lets you set your mic device. Mine auto detected the first time I opened the program, so I never had to touch this, uh, but if yours doesn't, you can fix that here. Background is very useful for green screen effects. You can see my streaming software here on the left with green screen software enabled and see what happens as I change the background. When we get to green, the background completely disappears and all that's left is my character floating there in the air. Save and load options are down here. It is always good to keep a backup of your settings just in case. Going back up to the top, closed mouth blinking image and open mouth blinking image are purely an optional setting. I'm not using them, but if you put a file there that looks like a version of your character with eyes closed, it will occasionally swap between them to make it look like your character is blinking. Now you could also have the same effect by just having a GIF of them blinking or whatever you like. Closed mouth motion and open mouth motion has your character moving around. I will change the sensitivity here just so my character is always mouth open and click through the open mouth motion options and you can see like you can make them look very excited by bouncing around or just hold completely still or slight movement or shaking or whatever. Uh, you can play with those settings to get whatever kind of effect that you like. Mouth transition if turned on adds a little jump to your character each time they first transition from the closed mouth effect to the open mouth effect and I am talking slow to try to demonstrate this. Adding a hotkey is only necessary if you are using multiple states. Here is an example of a another character loaned to me by a fellow streamer by the name of Errol Lozen. I have set a hotkey for these two states using my numeric keypad, and by pressing that button, I can easily swap between them. Right this second, I have numpad 7 for my little wizard guy, and numpad 8 for this purple cat. That covers the basics of this very simple and easy to use software, but let's say you're a streamer and you want to use this in your streaming software. How do we do that? Here I have OBS Studio, which is my own streaming software of choice, but they are all going to be very similar to what I'm about to show you. Okay, now this is the scene where I control my camera settings. So what we're going to do is just add a source and we want to add a game capture and we're going to create a new one. I just called mine V802, which you can see it here. Once you have created it, right click on it and go to properties and you want to set it to capture a specific window. And in our case, that window is the v802mini.exe application. Now mine is hidden right this second because of the little hidden eye, but if I turn it on, there it is. Simple as. Now, if you want to have this avatar up all the time, 
you're done. But if you want to be able to swap back and forth between the avatar and your real self at will, let's continue. So next up, what if you have a stream deck and you want to swap between your avatar and your real self at will? If you don't have a stream deck and you are interested in having the ability to do this, I believe Elgato has a program where you can essentially download an app onto your cell phone and turn your phone into a stream deck for a few dollars a month. Very handy for streamers on a budget if you're interested. Now, there are many ways that you can do this, but here is how mine is set up. So I have one button here on the Stream Deck that has two actions, and I've simply labeled the button as on. The first action is it will disable the video, so it basically you know, turns off the camera feed, and the second action will enable the Viedo Tube source. So if I click that button right now, you see the cartoon character appears and I disappear. I'm not hiding behind it. Now the other button I've got here labeled off with our little cartoon character, it simply does the exact opposite. One of the actions it does is it reactivates the camera and the other action is it deactivates the Edo tube. So if I click that button on my stream deck right now, here I am, I'm back. And with those two buttons, I can turn this feature on and back off completely at will. Now, currently I only use one state, which is this thing over here on the side. And that's my little wizard guy character at this time. But if I were to use more than one of them, since you need to assign them a hotkey, I would recommend attaching them to the numeric keypad and test it out and make sure that your numeric keypad is not also going to have an effect on anything else. Like if you stream, I, I don't know, Apex Legends, I would get log into a game of Apex Legends with this open, your stream software open while you're not online, and you know, hit the numeric keypad buttons to swap between characters and make sure it doesn't interfere with the game. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times I've set something up and then found out on stream that it was also a hotkey for some other obscure program. And then, uh, okay, so, so make sure you test it once you set it up. All right, Twitch streamers. Maybe you want to set some redeems where people can use channel points while they're watching your stream to have you activate certain filters. I set this process up by logging into Twitch onto my dashboard, going to viewer rewards on the left and going to channel points. Go here, manage rewards and challenges. Now I've got a whole bunch of funny little things in here, but I added a new one here called Wizard Dennis. Dennis is our cartoon character. You call it whatever you like. Now I put the little image of him there so people are clear what they're getting. Uh, go to edit and mine says two minutes of Wizard Dennis. Got the images there. And you know, if you, if you need to, you can limit how often people do it. Now, if someone redeems this, it will show up in this box right here. Now I usually have this box on my other monitor when I'm streaming, but it'll say like a redeem for ba 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 ba. And when I see that out of the corner of my eye, I just reach over and hit the button on my deck and here we go. Now, what if I don't want to keep track of the timer? In my case, I have it set for two minutes each time it is redeemed. Let's go back to the stream deck and I'll show you how to have it turn itself back off after a time limit if you wish to. So notice I've got a third button here with the same image that just says two men on it. This one does five actions. The first action, it deactivates the camera. Second action, it activates Vito tube. The third action is there's a delay, which is something you can do on the stream deck, and this is two minutes. After two minutes, it does the opposite. It turns the camera back on, and it turns Vito tube back off. So I don't even have to think about it. And that's all there is to it. I want to stress I don't work for Viedo Tube. I just found their product very easy to use and I had a lot of fun with it and I wanted to share it. If you have any issues, questions, or wish to support their work, there are options for all of that on their website. The same link that I showed at the beginning and is in the description of the video. Happy creating.